a state lawmaker just submitted a bill that will slap a tax on TVs and video games to fight childhood obesity. The 1% tax expected to raise $4 million a year. Now, if this passes, it could be on its way to your state. Mimi Roth is all for it. She's president of the National Action Against Obesity. Seems kind of arbitrary, don't you think? You know, I'm in the camp of a little less talk, a little more action, please, right? And they're willing to do something. We know child obesity is a huge problem. It's an escalating problem. So they take a tax, they put it on luxury items, and they put it on items that are associated with obesity, child obesity, video games. And hey, I, let's see if it works. Let's see if it helps. And let's see where they can put that good money to good where use. Where do you draw the line, Mimi? Now, let's say a lot of people, a lot of kids just choose to read. They read a lot of books, and they're getting fat reading books. They're getting smart, but they're reading a lot of books and getting fat. Do you put a surtax on books? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that kids need at least one hour of exercise every day. So you're right. Reading is an excellent use of time, but they need an hour of exercise. You want them Sitting reading on, on a treadmill, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, Pretty if you're getting a good workout in, do you know how hard it is to actually read? Have you tried that? Very hard. I have. And nothing stays <laughs> in there. So, so you know what? We're, the world is going your way, Mimi. There's no doubt about it. I'm losing okay. this fight because everyone is following your lead and trying to police everything we do. What I worry that Though, is that with the best of intentions, are you making for nanny state? What I think we need to do is hold parents responsible for the health of their children. If they're refusing to take that responsibility, we all have a commitment and an obligation to help that happen. Don't you think it now, goes too far, though, Mimi, when some states take away fat kids from their parents because they say the parents obviously aren't looking after the kids' you know, betterment? I mean, it's getting a little extreme. I'm right? glad you brought that up. I, I, we have not seen a situation where a child has been re removed yet. What is happening Actually, is... Actually, we have. We've well, seen a couple situations. They've come in and at the last minute not taken the children. Maybe we have different facts. What I'd like to see is child services intervene much sooner. You don't wait till a child is 100 pounds overweight. You see red flags well before that. You don't wait till the child Here's is, what I worry about. Yeah. You, your red flags might be that kid downing a ring ding in, in the school cafeteria. <laughs> well, I think that you can see eating patterns contributing to a child's uh, uh, well, harm. What if a skinny kid's health? eating a ring ding and nothing's happening to him and you see the fatter kid eating the ring ding and you're saying, all right, I'm hauling you into, I don't know, a Jack LaLanne Center. Well, you know I love Jack LaLanne. Uh, I think the distinguishing point is that yes, you can still be thin and not be healthy, and junk food isn't good for anyone. But when a body starts reacting visibly to it, we know that's an obvious red flag. And I'm not saying remove the child, but I'm, I am saying let's all help and make sure that that child's getting good nutrition advice, that there's benchmarks being met. You want to execute fat people, don't you? That is a horrible thing to say. I think that's horrible your next thing. step. That, that may be the I worst thing you've ever step. said to you me. Will try to kill them. All right. um, I don't know anyone willing to. Because you'll argue they're killing themselves, so you're going to put them out of their misery, right? No, and the other thing I want to say is it's not just parents' responsibility. It's all of our responsibility. And corporations do have a responsibility to not be predatory about marketing toward children and the kind of substances put in the food. So okay. it's, it's a joint responsibility. Final word. Mimi. No executions. No execution. Maiming possible, but no execution. <laughs> Mimi, always good seeing you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.